Hi, good evening. So this video is all about EIS, Electrochemical Impedance Spectroscopy in the SSC, Dyson Tesla Cell. So, what should we have in our EIS in the SSC? So it's very simple. A typical DSSC should have three semicircles which are which are impedance of counter electrode electrolyte, impedance of electrolyte itself, and also impedance of photoanode counter electrode. So in this case, there are two semicircle exists as you can see the the semicircle at high frequency and low frequency okay the high frequency region here indicates the semicircle of counter electrode electrolyte whereas the low frequency here the second one is the resistance of the electrolyte itself so and the other parameter that important is the RS. You can see that RS is the starting one. Okay, so what we should have for the RCT and the RS. For the RCT, charge transfer resistance in Dyson style solar cell, we want to have a smaller resistance. A smaller resistance will lead to high electron lifetime and high power conversion efficiency. For the RS, series resistance, we want to have a smaller RS. A smaller RS indicates that our material have high conductivity. So briefly, it's very simple. We want to have a smaller RS, we want to have a smaller RCT because both contribute to high conductivity and also high electron lifetime high electron lifetime respectively so the rs for good conductivity for rct for high electron lifetime because when you plot the both phase both plot you can see you can calculate the electron lifetime because the smaller the rct the higher the electron lifetime you can calculate from the formula you can find in the internet so it's very simple that's all for the eis good luck